I'd like to start, though, just refreshing um, all of your kind of knowledge of what Lear is today. And so, um, starting with, uh, this year we have two major segments at Lear Corporation. Today we'll be focusing on our seat division, which is probably the best known. We will also do electrical distribution. We design the electrical architecture to provide all the components for the, uh, for the vehicles. And we do this all around the world, and we're a leader in that, industry leader. We also do both normal internal combustion engines as well as alternative uh, energy vehicles, full electric and hybrid. We're one of the industry leaders in that product as well. This year we expect our sales to um, be approximately $16 billion. We're in every major automotive market around the world serving pretty much every automaker and we're on pretty much all the brands and uh, many of the nameplates that you know. From our size standpoint, I like this chart because in many cases, we don't realize how big a global organization that we are. Maybe we don't realize how big we are, but we're bigger than many of the name brands that all of us have come to know in consumer products. We've got an extensive footprint all around the world and that becomes more and more important as car companies are looking for global platforms and entering in the emerging markets. We work very hard to extend our enterprise from a business that started in Detroit to all these countries around the world. We believe we have one of the best footprints in the auto industry. We're the best positioned to support our customers' growth in the emerging markets and provide the lowest cost components all around the world. You can see many of the nameplates and car companies that we sell to, we sell to virtually everybody at some level. Um, and we're very proud of the reach of our customer reach, and we think it's one of the strengths of our organization. In seating, we're one of two auto seat providers that can make seats in every automotive producing region of the world, full design capabilities in every single component within the seat in every automotive producing region of the world. Today, we're gonna to focus on the part of the seat that you actually touch and feel, the surface materials and some of the innovative design, uh, the designs that we can do that we think ultimately will help sell the vehicle. In six, we knew part of our strategy if we wanted to be the best in this segment was that we needed to have more of a direct impact on the development and the manufacturing of both the leather and the textiles. Um, in 2006, we started manufacturing leather in Mexico. In 2008, we added textiles in China. And last summer, we completed the acquisition of Guilford Performance Textiles. Where we stand today, we have an international presence in 44 manufacturing facilities serving virtually every customer. We're excited to show you our new design collection. Now it's time for the fun part. We're going to step aside, and I'm pleased to introduce to you a trend-inspired fashion show revealing our 2014 fabric and leather collection. Thank you.
much. First, I'd like to thank our wonderful designers for coming up with such creative uh, uh, wear, formal wear and casual wear and innovative wear, and tying it back to our seats, because we do believe that car seating in the cars is intersection of art, lifestyle, uh, fashion into the seat. Everyone, usually the fashion lead are the Italians, Fiat, I'm sorry, Ferrari, Fiat, the high-end Maseratis, and then it filters down. But even the entry-level vehicles are looking for ways to differentiate their product. And what's so great about this is we can do all of this, and we can differentiate your product and reduce the cost by some of the wear technologies that we've come up with to differentiate our seats and provide these type of solutions to our customers. One of, one of the big issues, of course, is reducing weight in vehicles. How do these designs address that issue? There's not a lot of weight in them to begin with, but by combining um, lighter weight fabric on the side bolsters that may not get as much wear, we're able to reduce the weight. Also, with some of the technologies that we've come up with, combining the surface covers with the foam is another way that we can take weight out of the vehicle. But the, the majority of the weight in a car seat is really in the structure. And with there, we're looking for alternative materials and different combinations of structure to keep the strength. Lighter weight steel that has the strength, but can also perform um, in, in all the safety um, crash regulations, if you will. But from some of the um, capabilities that Janine and Mandy have come up with on reducing the density of the fabric, we can take weight out of the seat.